Hello guys, this is Ron again with uh, my cool videos 1000 at YouTube. Uh, I want to show today how to root and um, how to unlock your phone, your Galaxy Tab, your Samsung Galaxy Tab from AT&T that I bought. And I've had a couple of those. I sold one to my nephew and anyhow, so I'm going to show you how to do this one. But there are a couple ways of doing it. One is using the Z for root which is a file, an APK file that you can uh, unroot, but that used to be available in the market, but now they removed it, so you have to use other methods, and one of the methods is by using a cable, and that's what I want to use now uh, with my laptop, and I have my AT&T Galaxy Tab here, I moved, removed this SIM card, and right now it's just, uh, I cannot install any other market applications. So there are a couple of ways of doing it. One is there is an application you can download, it's called Super One Click that you can download from the website and I give you the link and after you unzip this file you can uh, you know, double click on it and that allows you to do several things. One of them is root, uh, share root, unroot, allow non-market applications uh, to be installed on your Galaxy Tab or Galaxy phones. Anyway, and there is two methods here. One is using this one exploit method and this other one here below. I was not able to do with the first one. I tried multiple phones and some works one way better than others and they're improving this interface to make it work. But anyhow, we're going to try one and uh, see if it works. I just tried a little while ago and I rooted and unrooted and I'm going to see if it works. So here we have the cable connected. Obviously you have to have the drivers installed appropriately on your laptop and if you're using Windows 7 you need the 64-bit you know, and otherwise you, depending on your on a Windows environment that you are using. Anyhow, so once you put the cable in you, you're able to just go straight into the mass storage and the computer stays on this standby mode. Uh, make sure your virus, antivirus, is actually not blocking anything. Uh, let me just show you this here. Uh, XDA Developer Super One Click. That's the website where you download the information. It's from the XDA developers and they give you full instructions here on how to do it. You need to make sure that the, the phone is actually in the USB debugging mode and you know how to do that by going to the application uh, on your phone on your phone or the Galaxy Tab and you select development and you make sure you have this in debugging mode and I like to keep it awake when it's co connected but it's not doing any power right now. It's just connected to the USB drive of your computer so it, it times out and the screen goes out. But anyhow, so you read through here at the bottom you of uh, this list here of uh, this first page you see a link here to download this super one click. Uh, it's from Short Fuse as a developer from XDA developer. Anyway, after you do that you unzip, put on a directory and then you execute this file and now you're ready to go. So let's click on the root and I'm gonna choose this reggae uh, second method here because that's the one that I was able to do it before and click here you're gonna see that's gonna try to connect it to the device I'm gonna start the ADB server and so far it's starting the, the server that's uh, Linux little application that allows to connect it to your Android phone device and as you can see the phone here says here rooted and it's pushing out an application and everything is okay it looks like the message here rooted files has been installed would you like to test it uh, run a test and SU command will now send the phone and you're gonna see that uh, would you like to donate you can or you cannot it's up to you but the guys did a great job so I already bought an application from him before and now supposedly the phone is rooted and you can see that's rooted by going to the applications and it should have an app called super user and this app doesn't do any, anything it's just 
keep it there. Whenever you use uh, an application that requires uh, super user rights, that application will come handy. And let me go test it and let me install. Oh, oh no. Uh, I cannot. This is, I just reformatted this and I'll have to enter my information here before I can go in the market. But let's get out of here and back and back. Back to normal, and that's how you root it. Now, the next step is I'm going to click on this button here that's called Allow Non Market Applications. And let's see if this is going to help or require some permission. It's going through a lot of that. Everything is okay. Checking non market applications are enabled. So cool. No application enabled, and now we just proved that we rooted and we, we uh, enable this application. It's basically one file inside the your device that has a specific digit and I already done that manually uh, on my other video that I did with a Samsung Captivate. I'll show you how to do that manually without using the computer, without using the cable, but this is much quicker, much easier and if you have this app here installed and you're ready to go. So that's about it. So as you can see we just finished rooting the device, the Galaxy Tab, and also using the application that is super one click we root and we also use the the button for allow the non market apps. So as we finish this here, you can remember that since the phone is connected and I try to to install an app here and it was not successful because when it's connected this goes into a uh, uh, it hides the applications inside. So let's just check. Go into my files, and I have an application here or a folder that I have a bunch of files. We're gonna now try to install an application, and I have a bunch here. For example, a uh, let's see here. I downloaded this from a website. I have over 200 apps here, but I just wanna get. One that would make sense, easy tether, no. Uh, fast, bright, uh, find my phone. That's a cool app. So let me just see if this would stop. And now, as you can see, there is a, this was not available before because it was blocked and you could not install any application that was not on the Android market. So I just download this one and now it's there. So thank you for the phone the first time. It's going to ask you for a few things, but basically that's the app. Then you can install anything you want. That's all it takes. Thanks. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. And this is Ron from My Cool Videos 1000 at YouTube. Bye.